Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye, and this is my world. Today's topic is, should you marry someone from another country? Should you marry someone from another country? Before we get started, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers, the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now to get us started, I did pull a short video. Let's watch this video and we have a letter. Then we're going to read this letter and dive right into this topic. Should you marry someone from another country? Here we go. 90 days fiancé is a real thing and it is dangerous. There's a trap. When you marry a non-citizen and you bring him or her here to this country, you sign a financial affidavit. Once you sign this financial affidavit, you are swearing to Uncle Sam that you would be financially responsible for this person and that this person will never ever be on the welfare system. So let's assume you did that fiancé visa, she comes here or he comes here and you marry and two years later things don't work out and you decide to divorce. Guess what? The financial affidavit is enforceable under the law. You are financially responsible for this person for the next 10 years or until he or she is capable of providing for themselves. All right, let's dive into this letter. She says, I am a 31-year-old single woman. I would like to ask your advice about a man I met on Facebook. Uh-oh. <laughs> we don't have big hopes for people you meet on Facebook. We are both in the same church. That doesn't matter. Our church is international. He found my profile picture and name in the same church group on Facebook and reached out to me. I have been communicating with him for almost six months now, and we are starting to develop feelings for each other. Now, just remember, <laughs> you're, it's just an infatuation that you're feeling. You don't know this man. You can't know him just uh, chatting with him on Facebook. Or even if you see him, or you can't know him like that. Over the past few months, we have had serious conversations about our faith, family, goals, and marriage. He asked if I would be willing to live with him in his country. But I am not sure about it, because I have been establishing myself here in America as a nurse. I do not have kids. But he does. That's a red flag right there. He has three children by three different women. No. You can strike him off right now. No. Uh-uh. That was not something I was hoping to hear. But I have really enjoyed talking to him. That's okay. Praying with him. And I've learned we have very similar childhood backgrounds. I thought about him coming to America to be with me, but I am not sure if it's a good idea. It is not a good idea. What is your advice on him coming to America to be with me? No, let him stay where he is. I do not plan to marry him now, but would like to have your thoughts on this situation. My thoughts are to forget him. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Okay, number one, you met him online. And he's in another country. I'm surprised he even told you that he had three kids. A lot of them won't tell you anything until you get, until you go over there and get really stuck with him. And then all of a sudden, then you find out that he's married and got kids and all this kind of thing. You don't need this. You don't have any children. You're just 36 years old. Don't be desperate. Get off Facebook if you're searching for somebody. Don't do that. And just because he's in the church doesn't mean a darn thing. 
church people are as evil as any other people. So don't be fooled just because he's in your church. Okay? These are the same people that screw you around, lie to you, cheat on you, beat you, do all sorts of things. The church doesn't mean anything. I know uh, a lot of women who are members of a church, they feel like they want a church man. <laughs> they treat you the same. Same thing, church or not. And plus, he's in another country? No. This is a big no all the way no. And I hope that you understand. Number one, let's look at him being on Facebook. Why is he on Facebook? If he is a desirable man, he should have women falling all over him everywhere. Why is he on Facebook? Facebook is full of losers who cannot find women otherwise, so they join the church group and say, all right, I'm in the church. I'm going to look for me a church woman. Because a lot of women who are in the church are very naive and gullible, and that's why they're in the church. Just lapping up whatever they teach you in church. And also, I'll, to their defense, a lot of church women are there because their families are part of the church. Okay? Listen, I was raised in the church, and I know what happens in the church. And I can tell you, these men in the church are no different from the ones you meet in the street. Except the ones on social media, many of them are just predators. They're just looking to use women. Now, for him, <laughs> for him to ask you, what about him coming to America? Of course he would like to come to America. You see, people in other countries, they view America as the land of the free, a land of abundance. You come here and life will be all better for you. And especially if they can hook up with you and marry you and get you to bring them over here. It's no good. A lot of those marriages don't even last. Because they just want to come over here. You see? And uh, if you watch the video closely, there is a financial obligation attached to bringing people over here. Okay? And I experienced it because um, my, my son, one of my sons, married a girl from another country. He married her. He didn't tell me. He just came, Mom, I'm married. <laughs> Okay, so we just had to roll with it. And and guess what? I was the one that had to sign the financial document to bring this woman over here. Okay, and guess what? The marriage failed. A lot of these marriages fail. You bring these people over here. Number one, because it's hard to spend time to really get to know these people because they're in another country. When you meet them, it's just your infatuation. You hardly know much about their families, about their real background, about how they are, how they handle situations, how responsible they are, and a lot of things. You marry them and then you find out that you made a mistake. So I'm here to try to help you not to make that mistake. You are a young woman. There are plenty men in America, plenty eligible men in America. You don't need a man from another country, period, period. What can he offer you? That's another thing. I didn't see anything you said. Now, you're trying to be a nurse. You could, uh, listen, you go on and get your nurse degree and stay right here in America. And as you being a nurse, you can marry yourself a doctor. Marry yourself a doctor. You're right there in the hospital or wherever they are. You see? And you're at the right age to get yourself a doctor. A lot of doctors marry nurses. Okay? Because your work schedule is very close together. You understand? Who do you need this man from another country for that's got three children from three different women? You can tell right there he's a loser. He ain't nothing but a loser. Let this man go. 
period. You know, as far as romance is concerned. Now, if you just want to keep him as a friend, you know, you just chat with him on Facebook and all of that. But don't talk to him about marriage. And uh, he probably brought it up. <laughs> he probably was the one that brought up marriage because men know that women want to get married. And they figure that women online are kind of desperate for men. OK, that's why he say, you know, he's got three kids. But in his mind, he figured that you desperate enough to consider taking a man with three kids from three different women. You will be very sorry if you did. Very sorry. Very regretful that you made this mistake. Let this man go and stay in his own country. Okay? And uh, girls, don't be fooled just because you're a member of some church and you want to meet a man in the church. You want to meet a man who believes what you believe. Okay, you know, I, I can understand that. You want to meet a man on the same page. But a lot of being in the church, being in the church, a lot of people in the church will say one thing and do another thing. You see, they will, they will try to pretend that they're living one life and live another life. For instance, there's a lot of DL men in the church. These are down low men who are sleeping with each other in the church. There are a lot of cheaters in the church. There are a lot of stealers in the church. You see, you can't go by that just because they claim to be religious. Because the first thing you want to know, are you a Christian? <laughs> are you a Christian? And then you want to get you a Christian man. Don't go by those titles. You got to know the people. You got to know what's in their heart. You got to know their intentions. And if you meet a man who's got three children by three different women, you can strike his name off the list right away. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Why would you want him? You can already see he's a loser. He's no good. I hope that you understand the message today. It's a lot of people from different countries that want to get to America. I, I can understand that. Okay. But they will use you to do it. Uh, once I had a friend who, who was uh, from, her family was from another country, but she was born here. Okay. So she married a man from the country where her family was from, brought his sorry behind over here, and he cheated on her with all her girlfriends, every woman that come to her house, he wanted to try to sleep with them, and all kind of mess. Why would you want that? Okay, you can't trust these people. Let this man go. Okay, it's not a good idea. These marriages don't last. Many of them don't last at all because you really don't know these people. And their agenda is just to get to America by any means necessary. Okay, open your eyes and your ears and protect yourself. I hope that you understand the message today. And I really hope that it helps someone. Now, those of you who may have a question that you'd like for me to answer, my email address is in the description. And if you're looking for today's affirmation, the link is also in the description. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments and your letters. And a very special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best. And I really hope to see you next time.